Good morning students. Today we discuss estimation of hardness of water by EDTA method. What is hardness of water? It is the property of water which does not produce lather with soap. They are two different types of hardness, temporary hardness and permanent hardness. Temporary hardness due to calcium bicarbonate or magnesium bicarbonate. So, it is also called carbonate hardness and permanent hardness it is due to chlorides and sulphates of calcium and magnesium. It is called non-carbonate hardness. From this we understand the hardness producing salts are calcium and magnesium ions Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ions. And the total hardness is the sum of temporary and permanent hardness. Okay, now we discuss how practically we estimate the hardness of water. There are different methods, Ohanna's method, soap titration method, etc. But these are not commonly used. The most commonly used method is EDTA method. Okay. So, first of all we need to know what is EDTA. EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. What is the structure of EDTA? Ethylene CH2 CH2 diamine NH2 NH2 tetra. Tetra means 4. So, these hydrogen atoms are removed and by acetic acid here also 2 acetic acid 4 tetraacetic acid. Here EDTA is not soluble in water so we use disodium salt of EDTA. Okay. EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Then we go to the topic principle of EDTA method. It is a complexometry titration. What is mean by complexometry titration? It is a volumetric analysis in which the formation of colored complex is used to indicate the end point of a titration. In this experiment or estimation of hardness of water, the ions which are to be estimated that is Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ions are complexed and appeared as a colored by using EBT indicator. Here we use the indicator EBT, EBT is aerochrome black T. Okay. It is a complexometry titration that means it will form a colored complex. Here EBT is used as indicator. So here when EBT is added to hard water, the hard water contains Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ion. These are hardness producing salt. This EBT complexed with the Ca and Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ion and form a wine red colored unstable complex at a pH of 9 to 10. To maintain this pH, only in this pH range complexation take place. So, to maintain this pH, we are buffer solution. Buffer is, it is a mixture of ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. Buffer used to maintain pH 9 to 10. At this pH, EBT complexed with Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus ion to form a wine red colored unstable complex. Then the next point here EDTA is used as a titrant. That is EDTA is taken in the burette and we titrated this EDTA against this wine red colored solution. What happened? The EBT in the unstable complex is replaced by EDTA to form a stable complex by liberating free indicator EBT. We know the color of the indicator is blue color. So, in this point oh, the formation of metal EDTA complex the color change from wine red to blue color that is the end point of titration. Okay. End point is the color change from wine red to blue. Then we discuss the procedure of EDTA method. It explains step by step. Step 1 preparation of standard hard water. 
to prepare standard hard water we use calcium carbonate for that 1 gram of calcium carbonate accurately weighed and adding small amount of HCl because calcium carbonate is not dissolved in normal water. So, to dissolve we add dilute HCl and then it is transferred to a 1000 ml standard flask then it is made up to the mug ok. 1 gram of CaCO3 is dissolved in HCl then it is transferred to 1000 ml standard flask and it is made up to the mug. Why it is called standard hard water? Its strength is known. It is calculated by molarity is equal to weight of CaCO3 divided by gram molecular weight into 1000 divided by volume in milliliter. Weight of CaCO3. Here we take 1 gram of CaCO3. 1 divided by molecular weight of calcium carbonate is 100 into 1000 divided by volume 1000 milliliter. So, 1 by 100 into 1000 by 1000 so will be equal to 0 0.01 molar standard hard water ok. To prepare standard hard water 1 gram CaCO3 accurately weighed dissolved in HCl and adding water it is make up to 1000 ml in a standard flask we get 0 0.01 molar standard hard water. Then step 2 standardization of EDTA. To, for this process we use this 0 0.01 molar standard hard water. First we take 20 ml of this standard hard water into a conic flask 20 ml standard hard water into a conic flask. Then to maintain pH, pH maintain chi amida 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 in a buffer solution 1 ml of buffer solution then EBT indicator ok. First take 20 ml of standard hard water then adding 1 ml of buffer solution then add 2 to 3 drops of eriochrome black tea indicator. The color of the solution is wine red colored, a wine red colored complex is formed. Then this solution is titrated against EDTA, EDTA is taken in a burette then it is titrated against EDTA or EDTA is added drop by drop carefully into the conic flask. What happened? The, here if we form an unstable binded colored complex from this complex the EBT is replaced by EDTA and it will liberate EBT. Like we have principle of the EDTA add EMBO EBT in a replace it a metal EDTA complex form form EBT in a liberate EM. Now, the color I marum at that point, at the, this point, the color change from wine red to blue. That is the end point. A point we will note here. This is the volume of V1. We will note here. Then, step 3 estimation of total hardness. Same procedure. Here we use a sample hard water. Okay. We put out 20 ml of hard water sample into a conic flask. To maintain pH add 1 ml of buffer solution then add 2 to 3 drops of aerochrome black tea indicator. Here a form a wine red colored complex will be formed. Then this wine red colored complex solution is titrated against EDTA. What happened? At one point the color change from wine red to blue that point is noted that is the end point. Then Step 4 estimation of permanent hardness. We know total hardness is the sum of temporary hardness and permanent hardness. So, to estimate permanent hardness, we know we can remove the temporary hardness. Total hardness in this hard water sample and then the presence and temporary hardness and permanent hardness. For permanent hardness estimate is we will temporary hardness in remove it. You know, the best method is boiling and it is an easy method boil. So, 40 ml of water sample taken this hard water sample then boiling up to 20 minutes the oleum will be half. From this we understood the temporary hardness are completely removed. 
that is bicarbonates are converted to insoluble carbonate, then it is filtered, then this filtrate is transferred into a 100 ml trans standard flask and make up to the mark. Okay. For the estimation of permanent hardness, 40 ml water sample boiling up to 20 minute, the oleum will be half of it. From this we understand the all the temporary hardness salts are removed, then it is filtered and the filtrate make up to 100 ml standard plus. Then same procedure, 20 ml of boiled water to put out into a conic plus, add 1 ml of buffer solution to maintain pH. Then add 2 to 3 drops of aerochrome black tea indicator, same wine red colored complex is formed, then it is titrated against EDTA, what happened at one point the color change from wine red to blue color that is the end point. Okay. Then the last step estimation of temporary hardness, total hardness is the sum of temporary hardness and the permanent hardness. In step 2, we calculate or uh, estimate the total hardness and step sorry step 3 estimate the total hardness, step 4 estimate the permanent hardness. So, we easily estimate the temporary hardness that is total hardness minus permanent hardness. Then we discuss calculation. In the calculation part like in Mumbai, principle and procedure nanna to buy hatiya, ingil matra namka calculation easy to follow yam bitulu. When you have a procedure which is any calculation bar another, is step by hati either lengi follow either either problem namak easy at Chia on the Ulu. When we will procedure parna first step, preparation of standard hard water and there we calculate strength of standard hard water. M1 is equal to weight of CaCO3 divided by 100. Okay, we have explained that 1 gram CaCO3 weight is not prepared. So, we have to get a non amount of CaCO3, 2 gram, 3 gram, we have to get a weight of CaCO3. Okay, so we have strength of standard hard water, this represented as M1 is equal to weight of CaCO3 divided by 100. Then step 2 we have to get the standardization of EDTA. Here, in the Katamil the titration, it is standard hard water titrated against EDTA. And here we use the formula V1 M1 is equal to V2 M2. Ningle in the panne is the poa, and link in the substitute M2 theti power on the chance under V1 M1 is equal to V2 M2. V1 is the volume of standard hard water, M1 is the strength of standard hard water, V2 volume of EDTA, M2 strength of EDTA. Okay, M1, we step 1 in the calculate in under V2 and then we end point that is the color change from wine red to blue color. M2 and we calculate in under so M2 is equal to V1 M1 divided by V2. Okay, then step 3, step 3 estimation of total hardness. What is total hardness estimate M and D in the Katamila titration? Narte, hard water sample taken in a conic flask and it is titrated against EDTA. Okay, but number V1 M1 is equal to V2 M2 U C do then so in the continuation at the V3 M3 is equal to V4 M4. Here V3 in the volume of hard water sample, M3 strength of sample water, and we can do the hardness of water, V4 volume of EDTA that is the end point color change from wine red to blue color, M4 is the strength of EDTA that is obtained in the previous step that is M2, it is same, same EDTA solution used so M4 is equal to M2. In the end, we can M3, V4, M4 divided by V3, okay. Then here we get this X molar nadaka, we the hardness in the unit and the it is a ppm, allengi milligram per litre. So, convert molar to ppm, it is multiplied with 10 to the power of 5 or 100 into 1000. 100 and the molecular weight of calcium carbonate, 1000 gram per litre, ne, milligram per litre leghi anverti in an anna, it is multiplied with 1000. We would have given the answer, ne, multiplied with 
10 to the power of 5 to convert to ppm or unit of hardness. Okay. Then next one estimation of permanent hardness. Permanent hardness in a estimate and the you see the hard water sample ne boil is edu, temporary hardness in a remove is edu, then a boil the water filter edu, filter it ne 100 ml at make up chedu, adil inum, number etra volume editano, etra volume on a conic flask like a titration nartana you see in a that is the volume of boiled water V5, boiled water against EDTA. V5 is the volume of boiled water, M5 strength of boiled water, Lengi hardness can V6 volume of EDTA that is the end point, M6 strength of EDTA, same EDTA solution therefore M6 is equal to M2. Then we get it is represented Y molar to convert PPM multiplied with 10 to the power of 5. So, M5 is equal to Y into 10 to the power of 5 ppm. Then last one temporary hardness. Temporary hardness again total hardness minus permanent hardness because total hardness is equal to temporary hardness plus permanent hardness. Temporary hardness is equal to total minus permanent hardness. Okay. In this case, this is a problem. Problem is the E step pula onnoda by heart aao. Then we go to problems. First problem, problem one, 100 ml of sample water require 80 ml of EDTA solution for titration. Similarly, 22 ml of same EDTA solution was required for the titration of 100 ml of standard hard water containing 1 gram CaCO3 per liter. Calculate hardness of sample water in ppm. Okay, we will calculate the calculation of the Okay, first step is the strength of standard hard water M1 is equal to weight of CaCO3 divided by 100. Question okay, what is the weight of CaCO3? 1. Therefore, it will be 1 by 100 is equal to 0 0.01 molar. Okay, and how much weight is there? That is what we will Then, what is the step? Standardization of EDTA. In the Kathamala titration of standard hard water against EDTA. When you question why, every day standard hard water and the guide in Barnirikin and Oka. First step was a hundred ml of sample water. Sample water is used for estimation of total hardness. Sample water used for the estimation of total hardness. So we go to the next sentence 22 ml of same EDTA solution was required for the titration of. 100 ml of standard hard water. Now, we will see the V1 volume of standard hard water. It is 100 ml. It is V1. Then, M1 and the strength of standard hard water. That is the strength of 0.01. V2 volume of EDTA. That sentence is no cow. That sentence is no key. 100 ml standard hard water. It is the EDTA you see there. 22 ml. This is V2. M2 Kandubidikya. Substitute it M2 is equal to V1 M1 divided by V2. V1 is 100. So, M2 is equal to 100 into M1 is 0 0.01 divided by V2 is 22 ml. So, okay, calculation that we get it is 0 0.045 mola. Okay. Then, at the step, estimation of total hardness. Total hardness, sample hard water against EDTA. So, question we enter the question. First step is 100 ml of sample water. For V3, in the 100 ml. Require 18 ml of EDTA. It is here V4. Then, V3, M3 is equal to V4, M4. V3, volume of sample hard water, 100 ml. M3, kandu vidikana. M4, in the strength of EDTA. Same EDTA solution, anna. so it is same as M2. 
then substitute here m3 is equal to v4 is v4 is a 100 sorry 18 ml 18 into 0 0.045 divided by 100 it is we get 0 0.0081 Molar. Okay, but I'm okay. Molarity and it is PPM lake and wet enum. And in this year, another name, e kitana answer ne multiplied with a hundred into thousand. Molarity convert to PPM. We get eight ten PPM. Three and go straight under the guinea. In a bold water in the case of Parnet and Dangil, either bold a tanne, bold water and the volume. Substitute ya, M5 and Vidika, same way. Then, number calculation, that is step in English by Hati, that is the same way. That is the problem. Is it the same? So, M3 and Vidichu, it is total hardness is equal to 810 ppm. Okay. Problem 2 The standard hard water contains 15 gram CaCO3 per litre. Then, 20 ml of this required, 25 ml of EDTA solution, 100 ml of sample water required, 18 ml of EDTA solution, 100 ml of sample water after boiling required, 12 ml of EDTA solution, calculate temporary hardness in PPM. First, strength of standard hard water M1 and the weight of CaCO3 divided by 100. So, M1 is equal to, in the problem like in the CaCO3 the weight is 15 gram. So, 15 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.15 molar. Okay. Then, standardization of EDTA. This standard hard water against EDTA. Question by again. Standard hard water, in standard hard water, 15 gram of CaCO3 per litre, 25, 20 ml of this required, 25 ml of EDTA solution. But 20 ml of this means 20 ml of standard hard water. This V1 is 20 ml. 20 ml, V1 is 20 ml. Then V2 is 25 ml. Then we substitute either to Matram Shaya. So, 20 into M1.15 is equal to V2 25 into M2. So, M2 is equal to 20 into 0.15 divided by 25. This will be equal to 0 0.12 molar. Okay. Then, next one, estimation of total hardness that is hard water sample against EDTA. So, we will sample water and volume. That is the sentence. 100 ml of sample water. So, 100 is V3. Require 18 ml of EDTA. So, 18 is V4. Then substitute here. V3 100. 100 into M3 contributed is equal to V4 18 into M4 is M2 0 0.12. Therefore, M3 is equal to 18 into 0 0.12 divided by 100. This will be equal to 0 0.0216 molar. Okay. The hardness is equal to 0 0.0216 molar. Okay. The hardness is equal to 0 0.0216 molar. Okay. The hardness is equal to 0 0.0216 molar. Okay. The hardness is equal to 0 0.0216 molar. So, 0 0.0216 into 10 to the power of 5 ppm. This will be equal to 2160 ppm. This total hardness. Then, last one, permanent hardness. It is boiled water against EDTA. We have a question like boiled water and volume, EDTA and volume. Here, look. Here 100 ml of sample water after boiling. So 100 ml V5, volume of EDTA 12 ml, it is V6. Substitute the values 
here V5 is 100 into M5 is equal to 12 into 0 0.12. Therefore, M5 is equal to 0.12 into 12 divided by 100. This will be equal to 0 0.0144 molar. Then again multiplied with 10 to the power of 5, we get 1440 ppm. Okay. Then the last step, temporary hardness. In the other total hardness minus permanent hardness. That is temporary hardness is equal to temporary hardness is equal to total minus permanent that is 2160 minus 1440 is equal to 720 ppm. Okay. Now, if you have any numerical, Question Y kya, substitute ya, either substitute either in a session matre ningla is step like a pogavalu. Along in the tipu, number stand either ningla in the Adim procedure and not by her tea, is steps ningla by her tea, then problem Y is substitute ya. Okay, then problem 3 100 ml of water sample require 13.5 ml. 0 0.02 molar EDTA solution for hardness estimation. Another 100 ml of water sample from the same source must boil and removed precipitate by filtration. Then filtrate require 6 ml 0 0.02 molar EDTA for titration. Calculate total and temporary hardness. Okay. Problem 1 and 2 will number EDTA strength contributor. But this problem is okay. The strength of EDTA 0 0.02. Now we have to M2. This is the direct M2 is equal to that is strength of EDTA M2 is equal to 0 0.02. Okay. Then the last step is problem 4. 100 Strength the direct at the M2 is equal to 0 0.02 molar. Then estimation of total hardness. Simple at the V3 M3 is equal to V4 M4. Question why? Hard water sample. 100 ml. So V3 100 ml of water sample require 13.5. That is V4 M3 is equal to 0 0.02 molar. Then we have to substitute 100 into M3 is equal to 18.5 into M4 atraya, strength of EDTA 0 0.02. Then M3 is equal to 18.5 into 0 0.02 divided by 100. This will be equal to 0 0.0027 molar. Then it converts to ppm multiplied with 10 to the power of 5. 0 0.0027 into 10 raised to 5 ppm that is 270270 ppm it is total hardness m3 is equal to nerdi povade engal ezhudumbo total hardness is equal to 270 ppm then next permanent hardness question why kya boiled water against edta here 100 ml of water sample from the same source must be boiled and removed by filtration. Therefore, V5 is 100 ml. 100 into M5 is equal to V6. 6 ml of EDTA solution. 6 into strength of EDTA 0 0.02. Therefore, M5 is equal to 6 into 0 0.02 divided by 100. This will be equal to 0 0.0012 molar and it is converted to gram milligram per liter or ppm we get 120 ppm m5 or permanent hardness is equal to 120 ppm then the last one temporary hardness 
temporary hardness is equal to total hardness minus